not just the light motion, this also applies to other apps. First, you need a keyframe. I will briefly explain about keyframes. Because without keyframes you can't add graph. Add a keyframe at second 0. Add keyframe in second 2. Keyframe 1 starting point here at 0 seconds. And the position of the circle here. And keyframe 2 at seconds 2. Keyframe 2 makes the circle position here. Okay, next about graphs. Some people think graph is for controlling speed. Correct but not quite right. Pay attention to the location of the keyframe. Keyframe 1 to keyframe 2 is 2 seconds apart, so the movement only takes 2 seconds. Now what if keyframe 2 is at second 1? Circle 1 only take 1 second to arrive. So, now try adding a graph. Faster at the beginning and slower at the end but the circle still takes 2 seconds to arrive. Graph makes speed up and slow down movement, but still according to the time specified by the keyframe. The question is, how does graph work? There are many graph variants. So did you memorize each graph? To get the movement you want? Actually it's not difficult. The most important thing is, you understand changes in movement on a graph. You will understand it easily.
I think it's very clear. The middle is just a little fast. It makes the movement look smooth. And the more vertical the faster. Actually horizontal is not to slow down, but to make the movement stop or not move. Horizontal position will not move, horizontal the vertical direction will move. Now, how to make the middle smoother? Make the horizontal line slightly vertical. Now the movement looks smooth. Easy right? This is enough for basics. For other variations of graph, the formula is the same. But if you want an explanation I'll make it in another video. The point is, vertical direction speeds up movement. No matter left of center or right. The more vertical the faster. And also the horizontal direction. No matter left of center or right. The more horizontal the slower.